everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cassandra. Today's video is all about Barbie. So if you want to know exactly what I mean by this, please continue to watch. Okay, I am back. Like I said in the intro, this is going to be all about Barbie. Yes, baby, Barbie. We are trying to figure out what Barbie would smell like. As you all know, the new movie about Barbie is coming out on this Friday, July 21st. With that being said, I decided to pull out some of my pink bottle fragrances slash pink juice fragrances. And with these um, fragrances, I'm going to tell you what I think Barbie would smell like in certain conditions. Uh, you know, when she's out there doing certain things, I feel like this is the fragrance that she would wear okay so let's get into it on the beach now I'm thinking Barbie you know she got on pink she's pink everywhere you know she's pink so on the beach she decides that she wants to surf so she has this beautiful pink surfboard and she got it all layered with um, pink um, pink diamonds all over of it. Now, y'all know how that looks. That is beautiful. The surfboard is pink. Then it's, um, it's pinked out with diamonds. Child, you know she got it together. So, if she was on a surfboard and she was at the beach... What do you all think she would smell like? I'm thinking Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. Yeah, baby. Because she is catching those waves. And this is a fruity floral fragrance. So you know she's smelling fruity. Um, she got some flora going on, baby. And she got on her bikini. And she's on that surfboard doing her thing. And so in this fragrance, you have notes of pomegranate, raspberry, magnolia. See, see, you see what I'm you see what I'm getting at, right? So with this fragrance. She would definitely be catching those waves and everybody going to be looking and be smelling her. Once again, this is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. And she would absolutely be on those waves. Okay. The next scenario. Scenario? That's what I'm going to say. The next scenario. Okay. Barbie decides she gonna have a self care day. Yes, she's gonna go to the spa. But you know when she go to the spa, she still got on all that pink, and uh, she got a pink head wrap on and everything. But one thing about her, she gonna smell good. She don't care that she's gonna get a massage or that she getting her nails done, her toes done. She don't care about all that. She knows she's going to still smell good regardless of what they're going to put on her to give her that massage. She's going to be smelling good, okay? So with that being said, I decided um, while she's enjoying herself with getting the massages and stuff like that, she want to smell kind of fresh, you know? She want to smell fresh fruity i think she's going to be wearing empathy from the house of ooh yeah y'all 
she's going to be wearing this. Because if I'm going to the spa, they're having just a self-care day, child, I'm wearing empathy. Because this is, this is definitely a fruity, bubbly type fragrance right here. I mean, it's just, it's fresh, it's fruity, it just makes you think about nothing. You just smell it good, enjoying the massages and all that. So in this fragrance, you have notes of raspberry. Can you believe that big, juicy raspberry she got in here? Mm, mm, mm. Then you got pear. You got a little uh, um, tobacco in this. But you can't hardly smell the tobacco due to the fact of all the fruit, which is the um, raspberry and the pear. And it got a little oud in it too. That's another um, note that you can't hardly tell that's in here. Because like I said, that fruit, the juice of fruit is tearing this up. And that's how she want to smell. She want to smell a little fresh, a little fruity, and just enjoying that spa. Mm -hmm. That's what she doing for her self-care day. Mm -mm -mm. This is definitely what Barbie would be wearing. Okay. My next scenario. Barbie. She decides she wants to go to the museum, y'all. Mm -hmm. She going to the museum. And at the museum, she looking at all these beautiful artworks. And see, when you go somewhere like that, that's a classic place. So you're going to come in there strutting with your pink on, because you know that's all she wears, her pink. And you're going to be looking so gorgeous from head to toe. And you also gonna be smelling it too. So you know she's gonna be smelling classy and sophisticated. Why is she looking at this artwork? Yep, that's what she's gonna be smelling like. Yeah, I know. If you going checking out artwork at a museum, and this is a classy place, so you know you wanna look classy and sophisticated. So you know you got to wear something that is classy and sophisticated. So what y'all think she's wearing and it's pink? Yes, Delana exclusive. Exactly. That's what I said. Y'all, this don't get no classier than this. I mean, this has notes of roses. You got a little oud in it. You got vanilla, you got amber, you got sandalwood, you got lychee, you got pear. So you see all those notes and it's creamy too. She is truly classy, sophisticated. And when I think about that, it ain't nobody but Delana that can um, carry that off. Once again, perfumes de Marley, Delana exclusive okay now in this scenario Barbie decides to go on a date night with Ken mm -hmm. she decide hey Ken we going out tonight so what do you think her and she will have on to be with her boo now, it's got to be something that's sexy, feminine, sweet, and fruity. So, what fragrance do you do that come to mind? And the bottle is pink. So, what you think it is? Just imagine she has on this short, pink, sexy dress and then she has on these pink pickaboo shoes on mm -hmm. five inch heels mm -hmm. yeah you know she got to bring it you know she got to bring it with the smell so what you think she's wearing yes Nadia's Parfum Idola cause this is a Feminine, 
sexy, fruity, and a little powdery. So you know, on a date night with Ken, and you got on that pink short dress, and you got those five inch heels, pickaboo heels at that, you got those on, you know she had to come with the boss. She had to wear the boss. Now in this fragrance, you definitely get those roses. You get some jasmine. Yes, you get the jasmine. And then you'll get that vanilla, that vetiver. You getting that bergamot. You can't tell me. This here is not what she got on. She got this on. Once again, Navias Parfum Idola. Date night ain't never going to be the same. Okay. Let's see. This time, we're going to talk about Barbie going to a winery. Mm-hmm. You know she got to get a drink on? Yeah. She decided that she wants to go test out some wine. Mm-hmm. So, which fragrance do you think I get for the winery? Mmm, I got it. Mm-hmm, I got it. Now, this fragrance is a musky, powdery, sweet, fruity fragrance. Mm-hmm, because you know we're going to the winery. And when we go to the winery, oh, we don't want people to be doing all that smelling us. We trying to get the right wine. So you know, yes y'all, she got this on. And this is Narciso Rodriguez for her. And this one is Mus Noir. Y'all. Oh, this is great for the winery. Because like I said, Barbie, she wanted something sexy and alluring for the winery. Because even though she's coming in there sexy and alluring, she's going to be sipping on Chardonnay, that Pinot, what y'all call it, Pinot Gris. She's going to be... Mm, she gonna have her wine glass and she gonna be mm, tasting all that and she gonna be looking and smelling so good so it's gonna be some men's that you know they be there at the winery so they're gonna be like mm, who is that mm -hmm. and see in this fragrance right here y'all it has plum so that plum note is gonna make sure this fragrance right here is not too musky so that's what that plum note in there for so you got plum you got musk you got suede that sometimes might make you think you got leather in here you got hella trope yeah this is gorgeous i love this fragrance now i had a smaller one before and i used that up so that's why this one looked like i haven't been using it but i've been using a little it hasn't been long since I used up the other bottle. But y'all, at that winery, I can see myself with this on. Me and my boo at the winery. Y'all, this is gorgeous. Do your thing, Barbie. Do your thing at the winery. Now, Barbie decided, say, hey, you know how much I love horses. Look, she got a pink horse. She has a pink horse. Yes, a beautiful pink stallion, y'all. So she decides she want to go horseback ride in the country. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, just picture this. Barbie is on a horse, dressed in pink, 
and thin. The horse is pink. The saddle is pink. And so you know the bottle of the fragrance had to be pink too. The juice inside here is also pink. And y'all, when you are on a horse and you are riding um, this horse through the countryside, um, you want a fragrance that is fresh, fruity, sweet, a little tropical. And it got maybe some roses in it. Now, what fragrance could I be talking about? The one and only Muggler Angel Nova. Yeah. This is my second one. And I always get them this small. But I'm going to break down and get me a big bottle. Just for the hell of it. Because I love this fragrance. And I can see her on that horse. With this on. It's fruity. It's sweet. It's tropical. It's a little warm. It's a little spicy. But it's definitely sexy. Child, when it's dry on your skin. See, now it's dry down on the skin. Imagine, it's done dry down on her skin. And they are helping her off the horse. So what you think? Mm-hmm. They lean in. They smelling her. She's smelling sexy. She's smelling edible. Mm, mm, mm. The juicy raspberry in this. Woo! Now, this one has no, oh, like I said, raspberry. Lychee. Rose. And it got oud in it. But you can't tell it got oud in it because of the sweetness. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Once again, this is Muggler Angel Nova. Okay, we got four more to go, y'all. Okay. In this one, just think about it. This is going to be a girl's night out. So what Barbara decided to do is to have this pink long limo. Mm -hmm. And she got all the girls in there. And you know what they're going to? Think about it. They want to dance. They are going to line dance. And when you are line dancing with your girls, child, you want to smell good. Because you're going to be tossing and turning. And I mean, you're going to be doing all that. So you know what you need to be wearing. What y'all think? Kelly Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. Y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! Can you imagine them line dancing and wearing this? And this one has no of pink pepper. It has rose. It has amber it has musk it has magnolia sandalwood vanilla patchouli she's gonna be all over the place just lying down just lying dancing and she's gonna be smelling so good with kali sweet diamond pink pepper 25. all right y'all three more now, she decided to do a, a day date with Ken. So this is the daytime. Her and Ken going on a date. Okay. But where do you think they went? I think they went on a picnic. Yeah. And she decided to make him his favorite snacks. She got that little picnic basket. She got on her pink. 
and she has her pink blanket and her and Ken are going on a day picnic. Mm -hmm. That's where they're going to the picnic. So, when you're going on a picnic in the daytime with your boo, you definitely want to smell enticing. So, when he get back home, mmm, beauty, sweet, and florally, and a little alluring too. So, with that being said, guess what she's wearing? Bond number nine, Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. This is what the girls wear on the picnic when they with their boo. Yes, we wear this. And so, in this one, it has notes of apple, blackberry, bergamot, rose, jasmine, magnolia, praline, Ambroxan. See what I'm talking about? This is definitely a fruity, sweet, chocolate rose type fragrance for him. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And I can see Barbie with this on when she's on a picnic with Ken. Once again, Bond number nine, Madison Avenue. Two. Okay, just imagine. Barbie decides she wants to go to lunch with her mom. So with mom, you don't have to smell alluring, sexy, none of that stuff. Because you with mom. Mom know her child. So, with this, you want to be that girly girl for your mother. So, you're going to be wearing something that is fruity, sweet, and it got a little caramel and rose in it. So, what y'all think that sounds like? Well, to me, it sounds like Lancome Edor Nectar. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is a girly girl playful fragrance with him. I can see her at brunch. Her and her mama just talking. And they're talking about Ken and she's smiling and all that kind of stuff. And this is what she wearing. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. Gorgeous. Once again, Lancome Adore Nectar. Okay, the last scenario with Miss Barbie. Okay, Barbie and Ken are finna catch a flight. Yes, they are finna go out of town. So, you know, when you get ready to catch a flight, you don't want to wear nothing that's going to get everybody sick. In the in the airplane, y'all know that you don't want to be wearing something that's just gonna be out there with too much scent, the longevity. Oh, you don't want all that. You don't want nothing too loud or nothing like that when you're on a plane, cause you don't worry about that once you get to where you're going. But anyway, her and Ken catching a flight. Okay, so they are catching a flight to Dubai. Mm -hmm. They are headed to Dubai. So, with that being said, so you know she pink it up. She got it all on pink. She wants, she wants to be carefree on this plane. Okay? She, she's bougie, but she still want to be carefree. Okay? So, the fragrance she's going to have is going to be a little fruity. It's going to be a little sweet. It's gonna be a little powdery and it's a little classy. Yeah, classy. But it's not overly nothing. It's not doing too much at all. Now, this one, she's gonna get a whole lot of compliments. Yes, 
people are going to compliment her on her fragrance. They are. Because she's going to be smelling so good. But it's not that sexy good. She just smells good. Anyway, she just, you know, she just smells good. So with that being said, she's going to wear Burberry Her. The OG. Yes, she's wearing this OG. Now, this is musky, sweet, and powdery. Now, this one has notes of musk, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, jasmine, vanilla, amber, patchouli. I mean, y'all, this is what you wear when you're catching a flight. You don't want to overdo it. You want to be a fruity, pretty girl. This is so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm catching a flight. I think this is what I'm going to be wearing. Once again, this is Burberry Her, the OG. Well, that's it for this video. Like I said, this was just going to be a fun video. Talking about what you think Barbie would wear. What would she smell like? Now, once again, the movie is coming out July 21st. So that's why I wanted to just throw some, you know, have some fun with some pink bottle fragrances. And, you know, just have fun. Now, if y'all want to, you can make it as a tag if you want to. And anybody that watching the video can do it. It's just having fun with Barbie. What we think she smells like. What we think she would wear in different situations. So you can do your own thing so far as a situation. You don't have to say the same situation I'm talking about. You make up your own situation that you're going to, um, that you think. Barbie, how Barbie would smell during that situation. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!